Hello, this is Bern, and on today's episode, I'm going to be sharing the answer to the question, should he say, I love you first? Hello, this is Bern. Welcome to another edition of BernMendez.com, a space where I share with ambitious, conscious, heart-centered, and successful women how you can attract the kind of man that you want into your life as a result of stepping into the most alive and most feminine version of you, no need for playing gimmicks, manipulate, or do any of those crazy techniques. Now, as I have you here right now, one of the questions that I get asked often in my coaching is, should he say I love you first? Is it the role, the responsibility, the the goal of a man to say I love you. Because here's the thing, I know I've shared on many of my videos that you should let a guy initiate, that you should let a guy pursue, that you should not play hard to catch, but that you shouldn't pursue him. So naturally, it could be inferred by some that if I'm asking you to lean back and ask, allow a guy to step up, that he should say I love you first. And, and I don't think that's the case. I'm gonna lay out my, my reasons why I don't think that's the case. First of all, here's what I would say. If you are in an exclusive relationship with a man and you don't know yet if he loves you, I'm gonna raise the flag is that that's a challenge. It's a challenge because why would you invest exclusivity with someone where you don't yet feel that level of connection and intimacy and love of a loving relationship. Now, some women might feel curious as to who should say I love you first outside of an exclusive relationship. This applies to either or, but I'm making a special emphasis that if you are in an exclusive relationship and you're not sure if the man loves you or not, that you should pause and reevaluate why are you in an exclusive relationship with that person. I'm going to take it as a given that you love this man that we're talking about right now. Because here's the truth, if you don't love this man, then the question of who should say I love you first is not that important in the sense that you don't love him yet. So if you don't love him, definitely it shouldn't be you. If he loves you, then he should share it. Now, this changes the moment that you actually love him. So I'm talking to you right now. If you are in contact with a man, whether it's an exclusive or non-exclusive relationship, and you love the man, that's who I'm talking to right now. I think that there's gonna be two scenarios, okay? Scenario number one is where you feel the man's love through his being, through his actions, and through his energy towards you, but not through his words. You haven't heard him say the three magic words, I love you but you have felt it in multiple ways. You're just curious since he hasn't mentioned it, what it is. That's scenario number one. Scenario number two is where you don't feel it through his actions and you don't feel it through his words. Let me just state the obvious right now. If the man is not showing you actions through, I mean love through actions or words, you can choose to tell him I love you. The risk that he will say, I'm not feeling the same way is higher than if he's doing the right things, he just hasn't said the words. Now, having said that, if you love this man, it is your responsibility to share that with him. Here's why. Because imagine that you say to this man, I love you, and he says, I love you too. You've won. Imagine that you say to this man, I love you, and he says, I don't feel the same way. Then you know then you're not basing your projections of the future, you're not basing your actions, you're not basing the not connecting with other men, you're not basing emotionally investing in someone who's not ready for your love right now. The only reason why you shouldn't say, I love you, is if you don't. If you do love him, the reason why most people don't say I love you is because they feel afraid. If I say I love him and he doesn't say it back, then I'm gonna be rejected. So that's one problem, and it is a painful thing if it happens. But you wanna see what's more, more, most, more painful than that is investing more time, investing more energy, missing out on opportunities, and then find out, 
three, six, 12 months later that he doesn't love you and that he's not seeing you that same way. So when you are about to say, I'm not gonna say those words even though I feel them out of fear that he doesn't feel the same way, know that you're postponing the problem and you might be making it immensely more painful in the future. So my best advice to you right now is if you love a man and he hasn't yet shared that he loves you, that you should share those words with him so that you can A, continue building that loving relationship now that you know the truth that he loves you, or B, you can reevaluate if you need to change the way you connect with him and get what you want from someone who actually loves you. Hope this is helpful, useful, insightful to you in some way. If it is, I'm gonna ask you to do one thing. On the first link on the description of this video, I've created a class that's free. All you have to do is click on the link, enter your name and email, and I'll guide you through specific steps you can take right now to attract the kind of relationship you want in a lot more depth than this single video. Now, if you find that these videos are helpful for you, you might also want to click like or thumbs up on this video and subscribe to my channel so you can be notified of new episodes as they come up. Thank you so much for connecting with me, and as always, I challenge you to live a full and a conscious life. Oh, my God.